We are digging a hole for a well. I think so. Not gonna lie, it's scary down here. Going 16 foot down and we still got black dirt. We're down 16 feet, still no water. Looks like we got down to some iron and some rock and stuff. Whew, I ain't gonna lie, this, this sucks. Holy crap, we can see some water finally. There it is, boys and girls. So we put this ring around this hole for tonight. Tomorrow, we're gonna drop that thing in there. It's raining right now. I got the hole covered up. Hopefully, it don't cave in on me. And yeah, it's not if I got it. I got the welt on my head. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so we got this in there. Now the fun begins. And so when I mean sand bucket, this is what it does. It's got some rubbers in there. A little rubber there. Let's all the sand up in here. The pressure drops it down. And fill this whole thing up with sand. And then dump it out. So once again, uh, my dad built this back in the late 70s. Yeah. We found it in the shop after he passed and cleaning stuff up. It's not iron. We didn't throw it away, so we're gonna use it. day for me I just lost the sand bucket down that well the hasp come unhooked and dropped it so I lost the sand bucket and I got some magnets on and we're hoping it's not gonna drop again here but she's pulling pretty hard I cannot believe three little neodymium magnets nope there she went ah! fish. It's a big one. Look at that. That's awesome. Those little three little magnets. Oh yeah. Dad's happy again. See your magnets? You're the luckiest son of a gun on the planet. the surface of 47 foot so that is actually greater than I would thought I was gonna get so we're good there water sitting at like 23 feet from the surface so we're gonna keep the pump about 10 foot off the bottom we do have a concrete plug I'm making right now to put in the bottom of this once we get it kind of test pumped Okay, so now last step, we're 40 feet down. I dumped some pea gravel down there just a little bit to get make sure I'm at 40 feet and this plug's gonna go nice and gently and I'll unhook it. So don't do what I did. 
it was too tight and I had a suspicion. I lowered it down with the tape measure, got to 30 feet and it sat right on top of the screen and got wedged there. So I had to fish it out. Oh, I, the nerve wracking. It's a good thing I wasn't. So I ground the taper off so it's got a lot more slop. My bad. If anything can go wrong, it'll go wrong to me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is nuts. Got the well almost ready to go in. Here's the whale. Pick it trenched over. Finish with the pitless. Whale boys, there's the pitless. They screwed some threads up on here to straighten them out so we can get the old PVC on there. Must have been a Monday morning weld. So there's the other end. And I went cheap. I saved the old cap from another well. That'll go right on top there. Well, we're finally getting to it. Finally got the pitless adapter. And I'm currently pumping some water out right now. So, cut that off right there stab that on there. It's sticking out of the ground about a foot or so. The cord dropped in there. That's gonna take forever. There she is. Fill a little dirt in now. Okay, so we lowered the pitless out down in there. Now we're gonna turn that nut. So it drives that rod down that should wedge in on the pitless there's a little notch right there that you have to get lined up right that way you're right in line so here's a good cutaway of what the pitless actually looks like and the wedge mechanism that makes it tight against the pitless adapter as you can see here there's a good illustration of it uh, i should have done better explaining this but that is what it is well, we got the well going again. Out of the pit list, got the pit list sealed up. Coming out here, inch and a quarter, down to an inch. And coming up to a hydrant. We're flowing water right now. I got a valve behind this pipe that I got a T handle here to shut it off. And then that goes to my main piping system throughout the form here. So just Coming out of that hydrant, we're at 40 PSI, no pressure tank. Right here is where my pressure switch is gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a electronic transducer and it's gonna be coiled up in a quarter inch little pipe, braided pipe stainless so I can hook it and lift it out of there and change it above the frost line whenever I want to. It's gonna be a cap on there. And then it's gonna go to the junction box in my electrical panel. So when I'm ready to ever valve this whole system in, if my other well goes down, I'll be able to rely on that pressure switch to cut the well on and off. That's the plan anyway. Okay, gotta button this all up now. Safety rope, wires, ready to go. Well, getting her all soaked in here. Get the dirt settled out. Ended up being a little bit higher than I want, but it's highest point of the property. It's going to be about a foot, so if we bring it in there, we'll be fine. 